Well, are we all here now? I'm here. You just vanished. I tweeted that to my super followers, by the way. Just a shot of your empty bedroom. That's very creepy. Okay, so somehow that's creepy. That's not your Whoa! bedroom, dude. Oh my god. Just a big phallus right in the middle of the room. Is that what that is? No, that's now I see a phallus in the middle of the room. Oh, how dare you, you dick. They all bought nun costumes, but Tom bought the sexy nun costume. Not the head. Uh, that no. face mask he had was not sexy. Everybody got sent the email to wear a costume. So it was not a rib on Filthy. But uh, everyone else just decided they didn't want to wear a costume. Good for them. Crowbar. Wait a second. Yeah. Hold on a minute. Who? Crowbar. Crowbar was on Crow the show. Crowbar from the Thunder. You don't mean a crowbar. <sighs> you mean not. the crowbar. The more I think about this, the more I think this was, in fact, a crowbar versus Fred Rosser match. Fred Rosser <laughs> well, you know, you know what it was, Vinny? It was yeah. a crowbar yeah. versus Fred Rosser it's, match. It's exactly it's what funny. You just, it is exactly what you thought it was. Yeah, well, it's exactly what you would think it would be. Yeah. You listeners pay for this expert opinion. They do, yeah. yes, every month. The ultimate grannyism is people asking if you're real nearly two decades later. You think I got a 93-year-old lady to play a 93-year-old lady? <laughs> There's video right here. There's video of granny. Didn't somebody think I was doing the voice at one time? Craig, try granny's voice for me just once. <laughs> I can't get that register. All right. Granny is CGI, this person says. <laughs> Roll out the barrel or get run over by the guilt train. <laughs> the Godfather doing his move in the corner, except there's a series of old women charging at you. Yeah, the old train. The old train. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Everyone aboard the old train. Yeah. All right. They don't go very fast. <laughs> if you keep on living, there's a possibility that I'm going to get so old that you'll be able to beat me at arm wrestling again. I could do it now. Don't don't get cocky, Granny. <laughs> I wouldn't want to humiliate you. What a trash talker. Cross has sub hold and holds Madcalf till he passes out. <laughs> <Excuse> Madcalf. <laughs> Madcalf. Yeah. I, Wasn't that a disease in Madcalf. Germany? It's a younger, so. younger case of disease, yes. Did I say Madcalf? <laughs> yeah, it's, like he's a cow. Shane prances around the ring. Inside were caged punches by... Okay. Undertaker. Out of the ring. Shane punches. People think she's not real. <laughs> Guess we'll see you for your birthday later on this week. I'm going to be out of town. <laughs> You're such a gimmick. Maybe you are an actor. <laughs> there was something I was going to tell you last week, but I forgot. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye, Granny. <laughs> well, she went out on a high note. A cowboy hatted man hits the ring, and it is revealed to be Jeff Jarrett. Oh. It's like you took Orlando Jordan's time machine and went to the impact zone or thunder or shotgun Saturday night and just grabbed that Jeff Jarrett and brought him out here to do the exact same thing. I don't think he's going to be a centerpiece. I don't think he's going to be fighting for the world title. Uh, no. I don't think he's going to be hitting people with guitars up and down the show. If he does, then I'm going to be mad. Then we had another Elite video. It's kind of a behind-the-scenes one. As they show the Elite winning the trios titles, then we see the guy... At the uh, computer, editing it in the different clips. He edits in the clip of the Death Triangle winning the trio's titles. And then they show the E fading away from AEW again. Daddy ass birthday bash. Yes. A formal certificate of adoption. As soon as Billy Gunn signs it, he will officially, legally be the father of these two grown adult men. Jericho just reminds us he's challenging any former Ring of Honor champion, world champ, tag champ, pure champ, women's champ. He'll even whip Lamar Jackson's ass. Colt comes out on stage. He's practically sobbing. This was a big deal to him. There's a few chance of CM Punk, but a lot more chance of welcome back. You know, in the afternoon, the feeling was that this was just going to be like the talk of the internet. People talked about it, but they really, they didn't to the degree that people thought they would. Punk's gone. Colt's back, everybody. That is that is a fact. I mean, that is a factual statement Colt, there. Colt came back and after... And it seems like a pretty monumental thing, but apparently a lot of people didn't quite see it as a pretty monumental thing. Hmm. I saw it as a goddamn monumental thing. And then, 
Orange passes over the contract and Shibata signs it. And we are getting Orange Cassidy versus Shibata on Rampage. Holy flirking snit. Apparently Shibata has two people he wants to wrestle. Orange Cassidy and uh, and Brian Danielson. I've heard, yes. And nothing against Orange Cassidy, but like... What? Here is a list of things that have happened in, in 2022. And it was just all of this crazy shit. And I was like, this is the fucking craziest year I've ever, ever, ever covered in pro wrestling. And that was before... Shibata and Orange Cassidy was announced for this Rampage show. Can we get Rick Ross on TV every week in every show? Yeah, that'd be fine he with that. Was he was awesome. Great. Not great. Marina Shafir versus Jade Cargill. We either continue on with Wardlow just not doing much, or Hobbs beats him. Then he can do something. Go after Hobbs. Get his, get his belt back. I would be totally fine with Hobbs winning that title. I wouldn't call it a bad show. On the, no, but often when it's over, I'll go, that was a great show. This is not a great show. This was not a great show. No, this is a show with some very good stuff and some bad stuff. They're doing their side plate check. They're thrusting the side of their hips to the camera going, oosh, 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 oosh. And then Braun starts to interrupt and says, now that you guys are done, and I'm not sure if it was Elton or Kit, but one of them gets one more last half-hearted oosh. <laughs> I love these men. Truth versus Grayson Waller. Ah, this was sad. It was sad. They have a national spotlight because they have Ava Rain. Well, and they've given us zero reason to care about her other than her name is Ava Rain. Well, if they expect everybody watching the show to know who Ava Rain is, I got news for them. I do too. They don't. No. Andre Chase tells Thea Hale she has another match with Keanu James tonight, but something doesn't feel right. And they look over, and there's a flag with no one to wave it. Oh, God. There you go. That's how they wrote off Bodie, Bodie Hayward. <laughs> is, is there a possible funnier matchup you could do? <laughs> I love Keanu James. I love Fia Hale. Uh, both of them. It is time for Mandy Rose's 16-year championship celebration. This sucked. I have been champion for 16 years now. All of my sentences had the exact same delivery. I have one cadence. And I use it for every line. So it's just going on forever and ever and ever. And it sucks. 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 Jesus. You have more poetry from scripts. You can screen my calls. But you cannot screen my fury. We see somebody press play on a tape recorder. How the fuck many weird creeps do we have coming to this fucking place? Thank you. I was in a bad mood ever since that Mandy Rose segment. This is the main event, and it cheered me up a lot because it was awesome. Braun Breaker and Elton Prince were tearing shit up. Anyway, great main event. Uh, pretty good first hour. Wretched, wretched second hour until that main event. It was a night of ups and downs on, on both, both shows. shows, actually. I yes. Would say yes. Pretty weird. 